Hey, hey, today is Monday, February the 21st, and it's great to see you again. Well, we have physical bodies in heaven. You ever think about that? What happens after we die? And, well, we have a body there in heaven. Now, truth be told, I think this is something that a lot of us Christians kind of mess up. And really, it's because sometimes we pastors, me included, don't do a very good job of teaching people what the Bible says about this. We know that after we die, if you're a follower of Christ, if you trust in Jesus, if you put your faith in him, your soul is in God's presence. And we know that because, think of the thief next to Jesus on the cross, in those very last minutes of his life, he comes to that saving faith. It's not because of anything that he did in his life. He didn't earn it. But he came to know who Jesus was, that he was the Christ, he was the Messiah, and he trusted in Jesus. And Jesus looks at this man and he says, today you will be with me in paradise. We know that his soul, the minute that he took his very last breath, went to be with God in heaven. But there's a difference between what is sometimes called that immediate heaven, what happens immediately after we take our last breath, our soul goes to be with God in heaven compared to what is sometimes called the eternal heaven that moment that Jesus will return when he comes for his second coming he comes with his full glory in the heavens above and he returns here to earth what would that look like and oftentimes we Christians kind of misunderstand this that sometimes we can think of our body as temporary and you know the older person gets the more it breaks down the more that it fails us the more that we have problems with our physical bodies and sometimes we can almost hope that we can be done with our bodies almost like you know these these masks that we've been wearing for the last couple of years and you know I just can't wait till I get to the day or we get to the day where we can stop worrying about these masks and you know do I have to wear them here and you know does it matter if I'm in Omaha or some other place you know or the different rules and requirements I can't wait to be done with this mask. And sometimes we Christians can think the same with our bodies because truth be told, it's, it's frail and it, it, it falters and it lets us down so often that we have this idea, this, this image that in heaven will only be souls for all eternity. And sometimes we have this, this image of being on the clouds and and having almost a spiritual essence that will be, you know, like God in full spirit that we won't ever have to worry about having bodies again. But here's the truth, follower of Christ. The Bible teaches us that God created you to be both soul and body. Think of the original creation, Adam and Eve. God did not create them only to have souls. God wanted them to have a physical body. God wanted them to be able to walk and to eat and to laugh and to enjoy this earth, this planet that God created for them. Now we know that sin and our own hard-heartedness and our stubbornness, our free will that we often choose to go against God, just like Adam and Eve did, that because of that, death and sickness and cancer and earthquakes and everything else is now a part of our world. But the Bible also teaches that one day Jesus will return. And when Jesus does, our bodies, which will one day be laid to rest, either in a tomb or be cremated or, or however our bodies will be, will be put to rest, when that moment happens, when whenever that is, when Jesus returns, our bodies will be physically raised. That, we, that our, our bodies, that their dust, if that their bones, whatever they might be, will be raised back to life and our souls which will be in heaven above will be reunited with with our bodies once again and 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 I think that's something that we often we misunderstand now what will that body be like first Corinthians if you're in church yesterday speaks on this and it's a little bit confusing trying to understand what God's Word is trying to teach us and it talks about us having these spiritual bodies and and it'll be it'll be fuller than the bodies that we have now um but i also believe that you know sometimes people wonder will we look the same will we look different and there's a little bit of a mystery behind this but i happen to believe that you know our appearance will be largely the same as it is right now but we'll have bodies that won't break down we'll have bodies that 
that won't age. We'll have bodies that are, their eyes won't fail us. We'll have bodies that, that won't get sick because we'll be that original creation that God wants us to be. Body, soul, made in, in perfect harmony that God intended us to be. So may you look forward to that day. May you take care of your body to the best of your capability because God has given you this body of yours to use, to enjoy, um, to, to enjoy and, and to just love this life that God has given to you. So I'm very grateful that you stopped in for this daily devotion. We are meant to be body, soul, following and trusting God today and always. Amen.